mechanical energy of a bouncing ball. In this lab, you will be bouncing a ball directly under a motion detector. And by watching the motion of the ball as it is bouncing, you will be able to work out the total mechanical energy of the system. You will be doing this using calculated columns. That is Logo Pro's way of doing math. It allows you to take a column of data, such as position, which is the distance away from the motion detector, and convert that into height, how high up the ball is. Once you know the height, you can use another calculated column to convert height into gravitational potential energy, and so forth. It is important to know that when you are doing this initial set of measurements, all of the data you need will be in that logger profile. You do not need any external measurements to calculate all of the mechanical energy using only the data coming out of that motion detector. You will also be bouncing the balls on top of one of our blue stools. These blue stools have a slightly concave top, which means that a ball bouncing in its center will want to stay in its center, which will allow you to get more consecutive bounces. The one thing that you need to be careful of when doing that is lining the center of the stool up directly under the center of the motion detector. It doesn't help if the ball is, stays in the center of the stool if the stool isn't in the field of view. In the second part of the lab, you will be bouncing the ball, several different bouncy balls in front of a meter stick to get a rough measurement of the coefficient of restitution, which is a physics way to say how bouncy the ball is. In this case, we're not particularly concerned with exact measurements, but something like you drop it from the 80 centimeter mark and you see that the top bounce is about halfway through the yellow, so we'll call that 75, or we'll call that 50. An approximate number, you don't need to be getting down to single centimeter distances for your coefficient of restitution. What's going to be much more important is your ability to compare the relative bounciness and then talk about why those balls have those relative differences in their ability to bounce. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. Here's this lab's fun fact. On a hot sunny day, the Eiffel Tower in Paris can grow by up to 15 centimeters, and it always leans away from the sun because one side has thermally expanded more than the other.